So the next thing we would like to go over is how to uh, use the three axis offset profiling toolpath. Now one of a, the good use case for three axis offset profiling is in this particular around these buttons in here uh, we could use uh, select a geometry, a drive geometry which could be uh, you know in, the, in this particular case where you have these steep sections you can select a geometry at the floor of these steep sections and program a 3D offset profiling toolpath. So this can be found under 3-axis advance and 3D offset profiling. And you basically, uh, when I select a drive geometry, I would pick the geometry at the base so that the offsets are computed and the toolpath starts away from the drive geometry and works its way towards the drive geometry. So when you have uh, uh, like these, uh, you know, islands that are sticking out, so 3D offset profiling would be a good way to program it as the cutter starts at the top and work its way down towards the uh, drive geometry what you chose for 3D offset profiling. Again, this method creates a constant 3D uh, step over similar to what you noticed in the 3D offset pocketing toolpath, the 3D offset profiling. So uh, this could be one of the good use cases for 3D offset profiling. And I'm also going to give you a couple of more examples of good use cases for 3D offset profiling. Now for those, uh, those of you who are, uh, you know, who build musical instruments like guitars, violins, and mandolins, uh, you could look at, uh, you know, profiling uh, using 3D offset profiling to be able to program around the neck of a guitar in here. So as you can see, the 3D offset profiling toolpath uh, can be used for profiling these features. Now, if you program this with a horizontal finishing, uh, or a constant Z-level finishing, then since there's a draft in here, that might not uh, basically maintain a constant Z-level. So a 3D offset profiling would be a good uh, approach to program this. Uh, one of the points to be noted in here is, in this particular case, since we chose the drive geometry at the top edge, the toolpath uh, starts away from it based on the cut width that you put in and work its way towards the drive edge. So, in this particular case, if you want to start at the top and work your way down towards the bottom, you would want to go into your toolpath editor and use the option to reverse the toolpath. So that way it would reverse the toolpaths and start at the top and work its way down towards the bottom. So for the 3D offset profiling operation as well, you'd want to make sure that you have a, a surface or a planar geometry, surface geometry that's beneath the uh, drive curve that you're selecting in order for the toolpath uh, to generate. So you would have want to model like a surface underneath it as you can see it in this particular case. So this is also one of the good use cases for 3D offset profiling. Now I'm also going to go ahead and uh, bring in another part in here which should also be a good uh, use case for 3D offset profiling. So in this particular part, you can see that we have a fillet on this model, and the fillet is at an you know it's not uh, at an angle in here as you can notice it, and you could be using a 3D offset profiling to go ahead and program around this fillet. So I'm going to go ahead and run these simulations in here, and you can take a look at the 3D offset profiling toolpath. So in this particular case, I've set the cut direction to be zigzag. If you just wanted to follow a zig pattern, it'll basically just go in one direction. And there's your 3D offset profiling toolpath. So this would be a good use case for uh, programming 3D offset profiling. And for these areas in here to clean up the steep sections, uh, you could be using a between curve machining toolpath to cleaning them up. So you can take advantage of these very nice advanced three-axis toolpad methods to program different features, complex features on your 3D molds, 3D models using uh, the three-axis machining methods that are offered in the uh, advanced three-axis module which is part of our pro and premium configurations. So folks, um, if you do have any questions, uh, we would be more than happy to answer them for you.